A lens is a lens is a lens, and it doesn't know what camera, what size format you have it, that it's shooting to. It doesn't matter to a lens. What a lens does is project an image, and it projects based, uh, the amount of magnification that it projects is determined by the focal length of the lens. So these are, what does this mean for what camera does do you get, what size sensor to get uh, what sort of image based on what focal length and how does that relate between one f uh, format and another and how does that affect depth of field? Well, it's a lot of verbiage. The best way to think about it is, is a visual thing, the visual media. So I set up an experiment to see. Set up a couple of red cameras because it's easy to switch between the formats between them and so it's easy to demonstrate with. And they're both set up to 4K right now, which is roughly equivalent to 35 millimeter film frame. I have two 25 millimeter lenses set up. This is a 25 millimeter lens for the 35 millimeter format. You can see the size of the image, the relative magnification that uh, the mannequin's about five feet away from the camera and the back wall is another six feet away. And that's the sort of image you would get out of a 25 millimeter. This is also a 25 millimeter, but this one is designed for the Super 16 film frame. What that means is that it doesn't actually cover the whole image. It's just not designed to do it. But the magnification is the same. You can see the size of the mannequin in the background. You see the relative projection, that magnification, is the same. But obviously, you can't really use a frame like this. So, well, let's put it to the 2K image, the 16 millimeter image, which is what this lens is designed for. And you see what that gives you instead. So at 2K, you see it's a much tighter frame. Imagine that you've taken just the center of the frame right there and just magnified it out. That is what you get. But this is still a 25 millimeter on both these frames. Well, let's say I'm actually trying to get this sort of image, but I want to use a 25 millimeter on my 16 millimeter or 2K camera. So I'm just going to back this camera up so we can get a frame about that size. And let me just adjust that frame quickly and I'll get you a quick focus so you see what that really looks like. Now the mannequin is the same size in both frames, but look at the background. The chart is much larger in one than the other. Why is that? Well, this has nothing to do with the lens. This actually is just about the way we see things in the world. It's relative distance. Here's my hand next to my face. You see the relative size of my hand compared to my face. If I go like that, my hand is much larger than in relative size compared to my face and has nothing to do with the focal length of the lens. Imagine if you just had a really tight frame like this, that my hand is still bigger than my face relative. And if I went like this and it's still that same smaller frame, still re same relative size between my hand and my face. So it, it's not about the lens, it's about the distance the camera is from the subject and we just move that camera further away. Well, let's say I don't want to make that change. Let's say I want to have the uh, same relative feeling between the background and the foreground subject. So let me bring that camera back up in, in front. And we'll just set that frame real quick and I'll get a quick focus again. And now, as a change, instead of changing out that camera, I'm going to switch the lens on this one. So now we're going to go to a 50 on the 35 or 4K film frame. Get a quick focus. Now you look at that, and they're about the same relative size in frame for the mannequin. And the, the background is about the same relative size. Because again, the cameras are right next to each other. You're really talking about physical distance for getting the foreground and background relationship to be the same. But there is a difference. It's depth of field. It's apparent depth of field. That background looks sharper in one frame than it does in the other. And that's because of the focal length, the magnification that your lens gives. It gives you an apparent difference in depth of field. And it's not as easy to see it between 16 and 35. But I can show you. I actually set up a third camera that I squeezed in between the other two. This is from a Sony EX1 which uh, has a much smaller, it's a half inch sensor. So focal length on that is around a 14 millimeter or so. And you see that the background is much sharper in this than it is in this, even though the relative frame sizes are about the same. 
So you have different ratios, different effects using different lenses and different formats, and this is how they all interact.